for helping a loved one deal with the transition to an assisted living environment. Obviously, any time you're removing one of your loved ones from their home takes much planning and work. It takes, it, it can't be done with just one person. You know, you need help from other family members and friends. Uh, downsizing an entire home can be overwhelming to the individual, and it's much easier and much more personal than hiring movers if you're able to have family members and friends help with that move. Also, before the final move takes place, make sure to go with your uh, loved one, whether be a parent or in, or whoever it might be, your loved one, make sure you're able to do uh, visits to where you're potentially going to move them in. Um, you know, ask questions, engage the staff uh, there at the facility, notice if there's any staff turnover, um, do a lot of research online. You know, there might be recommendations as to one facility might be better than another. Uh, you can also go online and look at any survey results that the assisted living or any violations that they might have had. And also the best way, I believe, is also word of mouth. Do they know somebody who, one of their friends who also aged is now living in this environment as well? What do they have to say about the care? What do their loved ones have to say about the care? So word of mouth is always an exceptional way to, I recommend, you know, looking for an assisted living and, and know which one might be best for your loved one. Also, another one is to make sure you decorate their new living space in that assisted living, very similar to their home environment. You know, have family novelties, pictures, trinkets, other items, and it, it will ease the transition to that um, assisted living environment. Another one is make sure that you as a loved one are visiting them as often as possible at the assisted living. That will ensure them that they're not just being dropped off and left alone. You know, you're going to come around, you're going to visit, and, and encourage the, your loved one to also continue with their daily routine as much as possible. If they're used to eating breakfast at 7 or 8 a.m., make sure they're downstairs and able that that's available to them. If they are still able to get around and, and go to doctor's office visits on themselves or if you take them, make sure you do that. Make sure their routine is, is as much as possible the same in assisted living as it was in their independent living environment, whether that's a home, condo, or an apartment.